people believe that having a mask decreases your oxygen levels. To wear or not to wear. Many states have enforced a face covering mandate in order to contain the spread of COVID-19. As much of the country is seeing a second spike in coronavirus cases, the debate over a face covering mandate continues on. Now, many people state that they don't like to wear their masks because it affects the way that they breathe. Now, I took that reasoning to the test here at Arnett Ogden Medical Center. Wearing a mask has proven, is, is proven to decrease the risk of transmission not only for the person wearing it, but also for the person that they're interacting with. Dr. Nasir and Dr. Bobby Joe took my original oxygen and carbon dioxide levels without wearing a mask. Then I tested my levels three different times wearing a blue surgical mask, a cloth mask, and a makeshift covering with a bandana. The monitor showing my carbon dioxide levels in the yellow, oxygen intake in the blue, and how much I breathe in each minute in the white. Those findings? The presence of a mask does not interfere with oxygen delivery or eliminating carbon dioxide from your body. I also wore two masks to see if any changes would happen, but... Having two masks on does not change the oxygen or carbon dioxide levels. During my examination, I also did physical activity, such as 10 jumping jacks, and jogged in place for 30 seconds while wearing a mask. Data shows that the levels did change, but my body was actually receiving more oxygen when I was active. When asked about people who do have chronic respiratory diseases like asthma... Asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and some of the other respiratory diseases are not a contraindication or a problem with wearing a mask. He says there are very few anatomic diseases that prevent someone from wearing a mask like if they depend on assistive devices. Reporting in Elmira, I'm Tai Wong.